what I'm saying? You'll go through a season to where damn near all your friends or you'll have just like a, a couple of friends kind of just drop off. Or, you know what I'm saying? The energy, it's going to be like an energy shift. It's going to be like a dynamic change. All right, guys, I'm back with another video. This boy, Josh, back at it with another body game video. And, you know what I'm saying? We were talking about friends and everything like that. So uh, we're going to really talk about friends, like body game, the power of isolation and understanding that, you know, not everybody can come with you. So I want to get right into the video. I want to get right into it. Make sure y'all subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I will have more content. You know what I'm saying? Really teaching my teachings, my life lessons, and everything like that that I have learned personally. You know what I mean? Like, I've gone through this. I understand it. So, basically, what I want to talk about is, like, understanding friends and understanding, like, people are not always your friends. Sometimes people are placeholders in your life. But more than anything, when you're practicing body game, you'll notice that um, a lot of times your mindset would change just because it takes like a lot of effort to either mentally go to the gym by yourself, mentally prepare for the gym, mentally maintain going to the gym or mentally just understanding where you are in life and where you want to be at. So when you're practicing body game, you're saying go to the gym, you know, saying do your thing, uh, lifting weights and everything like that. You will understand that <laughs> not everybody wants to be on the same journey as you. Like when you're working out, you're getting your body right. You'll understand that for some people it's a lot more difficult than what it is. Or people will complicate you, you know what I'm saying, being in the gym, you doing self-improvement. But in this time, you'll notice that you'll go through a period of self-isolation. And it is not a bad thing, man. Self-isolation is definitely important for you to be able to separate yourself from where you are now and where you want to be. And a lot of times when you're going through that, you can't really have too many opinions and too many people in your ear and just being distracted pretty much. Um, when you are working on yourself too, not everybody can go with you. You know what I'm saying? This is the same thing with the gym. Like if you understand going to the gym, you have to have a membership. You know what I'm saying? You have to have a pass or if not, you have to kind of like pay a day. And you know what I'm saying? You can't always ride on somebody's coattail. And I, 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 want, I really want you guys to understand that because, like, with self-improvement, you'll understand you'll go through a season of isolation. You know what I'm saying? You'll go through a season to where damn near all your friends or you'll have just, like, a, a couple of friends kind of just drop off. Or, you know what I'm saying? The energy, it's going to be like an energy shift. It's going to be like a dynamic change because when you're self-improving you, you are then a representation of what the group should be doing. So let's say, for example, if you are – working, you know what I'm saying, to further your education, or you are working to get a better paying job, a better car, or whatever like that, believe it or not, your friends have a dynamic of how things are ran. So when you disrupt that, you have a lot of people who don't want to go on your accord, or you don't have people, you have people not want to do exactly that, you know what I'm saying, because that takes time, it takes work for you to be able to pretty much free, your, uh, free yourself from past thought processes, past uh, habits. And a lot of times that's uncomfortable for people. If your friends have a set way of doing things or a set thought process and they really don't want to change and they're comfortable, it, it, it can destroy a lot of feelings. You know what I'm saying? It can destroy a lot of dynamics. You know what I mean? Because it's like, who are you? What makes you so great to be able to tell me how I should live my life or be able to tell me how to change? And that's what I want to tell you guys is that you can't really fight with that. If somebody is on a different path and you're on a different path, you can't always force that person to join your path of what you're doing. And that's what I want you guys to understand is that the moment of isolation is is so important to a man, is so important on body game, because you'll understand that not everybody is there for you. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody is on your team. And when you better yourself, you'll understand that the team changes to where you guys are on the same team to where it becomes an opponent. You know what I'm saying? It becomes somebody to where... They're going against you because they're fighting your ideas. They're fighting your new thought processes. They're fighting going to the gym because it causes change. And change is very difficult. And not everybody is ready to accept that. Not everybody is ready for change. Everybody is at a different pace and a different path. So that's what I want to tell you guys, like, through isolation, understanding that of you being alone and you having so many things to go through, isolation is not bad. You know what I mean? Isolation pretty much separates you. It, it forces you to think internally of where areas you need to work on mentally, physically. And it, it forces you to change because when you don't have other thought process going on in your head, you don't have other influences, the only voice you hear is yourself, you know what I'm saying, through isolation 
or even going through workouts. It's like the only thing you have is you. So you pretty much just have to get stronger spiritually, get stronger physically, or get stronger mentally, or all three. The best way is all three, but you have to be motivated. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand that you may not be able to see your goals right now, but you have to keep working and keep pushing because nobody is going to be there for you. Just think about it. If somebody is going to be able to switch up or change their friendship based off of you wanting more for yourself or you wanting the best out of life, you then have to understand that not everybody wants the best out of life and not everybody's going to sit there and be your cheerleader. You know what I mean? Some people will drop off. And that's what I'm telling you guys is like isolation will tell you everything you need to know. And it's just like sometimes you do have to stop fighting. You have to have stop having all these arguments. You have to stop pretty much telling people what to do. You have to let them be them because everybody has free will. But you know what I'm saying? That it's not your job to stay there if you don't want to be there. You know what I'm saying? It's not your job to pretty much dumb yourself down to fit a friend group that you're outgrowing. And man, I, I just feel like isolation was just that for me. Like as soon as you start growing, as soon as your prefrontal cortex starts to develop, you just wake up one day and be like, you know what? Like, I want this out of life. Like, or the patterns that I've had been doing, my habits aren't aligning with what I want. And you just realize it just clicks like, man, I need to change this about myself. You know, I need to work on this. I need to improve on this because you start realizing your toxic traits. You start realizing things that you're not good at. You start realizing where you went wrong at. And it's so powerful. It's like an epiphany. And it's just so uh, it just transcends all the information before, because now you understand where you can improve, where you can get better, where you can actually grow yourself as a man, grow yourself as an individual and become a better member of society. You know what I'm saying? Really put your impact out into the world. And it's like when you start chasing that, you start realizing how small a lot of the things you were influenced before, how small they are. You know what I'm saying? The small little things that the temporary happiness and the temporary pleasures, you start to realize like, hey, man, like it, that was wasting my time. You know what I'm saying? That was wasting my gift that I had. I wasn't cultivating my gift with my time. I wasn't putting in work. I wasn't grinding as hard as I could be because I could be so much further along. It's like once you start to realize that you are in your own way, things get better for you because once you understand that it's your fault, everything else doesn't matter. It's like it's like, it's like a mental shift. You know what I'm saying? Once you realize the way you look body wise is your fault of you not being able to manipulate how you eat, manipulate your workouts, that's on you. You know what I mean? And it's like once you get a new information around people who are striving and being successful, you'll understand that a lot of the problems that you had before weren't even difficult. A lot of problems you were dealing with was you only. And as soon as you get out of your own way, you'll start seeing other ideas, other thought processes of people that got out of your situation with ease. You know what I'm saying? Got out of anything that you were dealing with and they won't tolerate that. And it's just, it's so crazy. It's so powerful because a lot of people in this world, they feel like their problems are just so difficult. They're so big. And it's somebody in your, in the same position that would be in the same position and would easily get out of it, easily fix it, easily be happy to deal with your problems that you go through because they understand how valuable time is. And they understand that if they put all that energy into themselves, you know what I'm saying? They can really become a better person. They can really, really be a person that can do things and be impactful. And that's just so powerful because it's like sometimes you're blinded by people who are around you. And it's like once you take that blindfold off of that friend group, you start to understand it's so much more out there than what you're used to. It's so much more out there than what you can see. And it's just like you really have to have that vision, even though if you can't see it, even though if you can't taste it, even though you don't know how long it's going to take you to get there. It's like you understand that it's possible. You start to see people who are on the same mindset and path as you. And that becomes so attractive. Like you just keep working and working and working and keep growing. And once you grow too much, you outgrow people. You know what I'm saying? You start outgrowing mindsets. You start outgrowing generational curses. And it is such a powerful thing because no one is going to wake you up. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of times we waste a lot of time, but 
in this world is so it's so competitive nobody's gonna wake you up you know what i mean nobody's gonna tell you this is what you need to work on because a lot of times people have their own lives going on and a lot of other times too a lot of people understand if you do fix this one thing or if you do understand this one thing or if you do put a lot of attention in this one area you'll be the greatest you know what i'm saying you'll be great you'll be top notch top tier and a lot of times that's scary because then once you become that everyone else is going to figure out how to you know what i'm saying or try to wonder how did they that person get there like what makes that person so special what gifts do they have and then that's what causes envy sometimes because of another person will look into themselves and compare themselves to you based off of what they see after you've grown, after you cut off toxic situations and toxic friendships. So that's why I want you guys to understand is like, you know, a lot of times people are going to drop off. Friends are not going to be there for you, but that's going to give you that time for isolation to really become a better person and strive for better and get you into different areas that you always knew you could do. But now you can manifest it because you had a time. You know what I'm saying? You had a time, you had the energy and you can invest all that into yourself. So that's pretty much the end of the video, man. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back with another video. I'm out.